This is Jeff Arbuckle. This is Jason Oliver. And uh, Jason, do you know what it is that people can catch every Wednesday, each hmm. and every week? Hmm. It's not another stupid movie podcast, is it? It's exactly another stupid oh, movie podcast. Oh, shoot! You can listen to new episodes of Film Seizure every Wednesday morning starring me. And me! And we just sit around and talk about movies. Sometimes they're good movies. Sometimes they're bad movies. Sometimes they're someplace in between. I yeah. don't know. Gross, ugly, delicious, funny. All those things. All those things. So every Wednesday, go to filmseizure.com. You might be there right now listening to this episode. It's about to start. But you can also find us on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram at Film Seizure. So let's get started with a new episode. Enjoy the episode. Oh, my God. It's Megalodon. All right, welcome to another episode of Film Seizure. I'm Jeff Arbuckle. I'm Jason Oliver. And we saw probably the best ever Asylum movie I've ever seen. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, well, I, I completely had no idea what we were going to see. I thought this was a biopic about Meg Ryan. <laughs> I, I did. I, I was like, oh, what? I, this, I is, thought, uh, this is a movie about a shark? I thought it was finally Meg Griffin's chance to shine. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, no. 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 no it no, was it's a fucking shark movie. It was a fucking shark movie. And we knew. All right. I mean, yeah. We're going to talk about a fucking shark movie for probably about an hour. So buckle up. <laughs> buckle up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Smile, you son of a bitch. Yeah. Ah, oh, man. Okay, so... This movie wants to be Jaws so hard. Does it? And also mm. Deep Blue Sea. Yeah. All right. So, yeah. All right. You can't really talk about a, sh- a new shark movie without talking about all the fucking trillions of shark movies that exist in the world. There are more shark movies ever made than there ever were dinosaurs. Yeah. Yes. I mean, I'm talking about ever were yeah. dinosaurs. Like, however many dinosaurs... The proliferation on of the earth of dinosaurs, of dinosaurs. There are more shark movies. There are more shark movies. Yeah. In the 80s, in 70s and 80s alone. Yeah. Also, by the way, we're going to get to shit that I saw that was like, that was in Jaws the Revenge. Yeah. The shittiest. The shittiest of all the of Jaws. All of them. And also, the whole underwater thing was giving me Jaws 3 vibes. Oh, totally. And, and also, the very, other shitty very Jaws deep blue sea also. Oh, yeah. I yeah, mean, yeah. Uh, all right. Minus the Alzheimer's subplot. So, I think somehow, some way, shark movies are still like this thing in the zeitgeist that people just still fucking love. And I don't know why. (laughs) I don't know why. uh, People always love a good nature attacks movie, right? Yeah. And I think they discovered that legit, because it's it's the highest, like, by far the highest phobia of anybody is arachnophobia. Okay. And those movies don't make shit money. No. They don't make shit. Like Eight Legged Freaks did not sell. Is it, even to is the, it because they're they're too creepy? Yeah. Because well, because there's I'm itching thinking about it. Oh yeah. But I'm I'm part of the seven percent who's arachnophobic. That that I, I cannot look at I don't a spider. care for them, but they don't like f- totally freak me out. Yeah. I mean I have screamed like a like pitched a woman, yeah, <laughs> or a little girl when I've seen a, a spider before. I'm not gonna lie, but I had a dream the other night about it's big more of like spiders. I'm startled by it. It's like it flies out of nowhere, you know. Oh yeah, they're they're fucking diabolical. Um, but yes, I agree. There's something so about the sea and not people like going out to the ocean in the summertime, right? And and they're always scared of the things in the sea because we don't ever see them on a you regular basis. You don't see basis. them. You can't really tell what's there. There's a little sense of helplessness when you're out in the ocean. Yeah, yeah it's, it's it's a natural fear. Yeah, but I also think that people don't go to see shark movies anymore to be scared by them. No, I think it's they like, want to see people get gobbled up. Right, because that's what they, I was. There they want to see chomp 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 chomp. Right, they want to see some some gruesome shark chomp, chomp. shark chomps, shark and they chomps. want a little bit of tension, um, or they want it to go full on gore stupidity right yeah. um, which is what i think people get out of the sharknado movies right. because those at, i think are even in another that's section. a whole another that's those, a whole those that's are, a whole that's a stratosphere those are those are just a total <laughs> absurdity they're 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 and they're, they're fun yeah they're they're basically the they're basically parody at the, yeah. yeah i mean they're not even 
a deep blue sea, which absolutely knows what it is. It takes itself just seriously enough to move the plot. Super but, smart sharks. But everything in it is is purposely ridiculous. And then LL Cool J singing deepest bluest. Yeah, <laughs> my, yeah at the my end, head, it's like yeah. deepest bluest. <laughs> My head is like a shark fin. <laughs> My head is like a shark fin. Um, yeah, that movie's awesome. This is not that movie. I almost choked on my drink. Though. Yeah, I love that movie. Deep Blue Sea, it's, it, here's what makes Deep Blue Sea see great, is it's a consistent tone. Okay. From beginning Fair to enough. end, it, it knows exactly what it is. The Meg, however, is like a fucking, I don't know, like a wavelength of, of yeah. tone. It does no idea what it is from scene to scene. Okay, well, let's... Let's kick it off it's by like what fucking rampage. Why do we talk about these movies that have no idea what the fuck they are? Okay, well, first of all, these are both on you, good sir. Yeah, I know. you were the one who were like, we've got to talk about rampage because <laughs> of the rock, and then we got to talk about the Meg because it looks dumb. Because Statham versus a shark. You want to see Statham fucking speed bag in a, a shark's nose? I, and yeah, I do. Too. Yeah, I do too. There were but, so many but, opportunities uh, for just a good fucking like oh, right yeah. hook. He did kind of kick one. He, he did. Yeah, and I still maintain that the end counts as three punches. Okay, we'll we'll talk about that here in a minute. All By right. the way, everybody, fucking spoilers. If you really want to know what happens in the Meg, you're not going to see it. You're waiting for the fucking uh, the bootleg or the or the or the download this movie thing. Whatever, whatever you kids do guess, on the internet. Guess what? If you want to go see the Meg, imagine if you wrote the movie. That's what it's gonna be. Yeah, it's, it's gonna uh, be every but, fucking but shark not, movie. You've but ever not seen. you now, as as a twenty six year old Shirley single, Shirley, because I don't think any of our listeners are doing much better with their life. <laughs> Sorry, guys, but it's true. Um, but but like the ten year old you wrote this movie. Yes. Now. Um, this title, The Meg. The Meg. Let me just say that I knew going into this movie that this movie would be what I call a dumb fuck movie. Dumb fuck movies are movies that are either titled by a nickname for something scientific, quote unquote. God, I just cracked my own knuckles. <laughs> doing air quoting. Air quoting. Um, or they're a bunch of people who are super fucking geeked out over this topic that they start throwing out science terms, which, by God, the first fucking 20 minutes of this movie, I wanted to barf because I was spinning so hard, like trying to figure out what the fuck people are talking about. <laughs> what the fuck are these assholes talking about, man? What they're, is this? They're it, talking about like they're talking about science. They're talking about this fucking like like fog layer at the oh bottom of God. the ocean, and that it actually is is a layer that separates the the cool frozen water from this other living ecosystem underneath it, which was just, which was from like uh, ca uh, carbon dioxide f uh, jets. It's a whole that lot. It's a whole lot of horse shit, shit. It's a to sell us dumb. on a fucking stupid premise. It's like right. you know what? It's like these right, guys know what they're talking right from about from the start. Fucking stupid. It's dumb yeah. fuck. It's dumb fuck Deep movie. Blue Sea, guess what? We're fucking injecting sharks with proteins to make them super smart to find a cure for Alzheimer's. Boom. I get it. Sharks are now smart and they're going to fuck you up. Great movie. <laughs> this, I don't know what it is. <laughs> okay. So let me get back to explaining what a dumb fuck movie is now that you've interjected with how much you love Deep Blue Sea. I think Deep Blue Sea might be your Xanadu. It might be. It might I be, actually, I, I actually watched Deep Blue Sea not maybe three weeks ago. Yeah, and I fucking it. loved you it. Love that movie. I loved that all you over love that again. movie. Um, so a dumb fuck movie. Um, the um, Fast and Furious movies are a dumb fuck movie. It's people super geeked out about racing cars and like and like nosing up their <laughs> shit. Yeah, and they're using nicknames and stuff that when some fucking jackass walks out of that theater and uses that term, you want to punch him after you <laughs> pants him, kick him in the balls, and laugh your ass off at him. <clears throat> That's the type of dumb fuck movie. Twister is is my is my go to <laughs> dumb, dumb fuck, fuck movie. movie where it's like. We're going to follow these twisters around. Fuck you, they're tornadoes. <laughs> Fuck off, they're tornadoes. Oh, it's a category five. It's a, it's a, cat, it's a cat five. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Fuck. Oh, great. Whatever. Uh, and ever since that fucking movie 
category one, two, three, four, five, whatever. F five. It was F five. F for fart, probably. <laughs> for fuck. fuck. For dumb fuck movie. It's a dumb fuck movie. It's a it's a category F five dumb fuck movie. Uh, but anyway, that shit gets gets talked about constantly now in the weather, and it's like, oh, you guys fell for it. You fucking fell for it. You assholes. You fucking dumb fuck asshole. <laughs> and it's all meant to bring you into their little circle, into their little click. Right. So let's and then talk make, about the... Uh, well, wait a minute. Let's talk about the little well, click. Wait a, wait a minute. I'm not done talking about dumb oh, fuck God. movies. We're only nine minutes into this fucking episode. <laughs> We got time the, for the, your the, fucking The click. people we saw this movie with were like, your episode's not going to be more than five minutes, is it? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, well, we, Sorry, we kids. We busted that. Sorry, kids. We busted that shit wide we open. lots to talk about. We're only nine minutes you into talking think, about this. You wouldn't think, but there's plenty here. There's plenty to mine. There's plenty of mine. But anyway, so they're, they're there to bring you into this click, these dumb fuck clicks. And then it makes you think that that girl that looks like she belongs in a fucking... 90s hacker chick movie and the the scaredy cat black dude and rain wilson know what the fuck they're talking about and they don't fucking know what they're talking about they were paid actors <laughs> looking at a script saying this is a dumb fuck script but i'll take that paycheck uh-huh. for five bucks five bucks is all five I bucks got. because it was probably like 30 million yen yeah. <laughs> and then they took it to the bank and it's like uh-uh. it was a bit of a bait and switch it was a yeah. bit of a bait and switch ah, bait and switch yeah. they chummed the waters yeah they yeah they sure did fuck this movie <laughs> fuck this dumb fuck movie <laughs> Although, um, it's not. It's kind of a fun movie I mean, for being a dumb fuck movie. It's it kind has, of. I mean, it's, it it's, has its moments. It has its moments, much like Twister had its moments, much like all of the Fast, Fast and Furious movies are like fucking Oscar gold compared to the. To oh this yeah. Movie. Oh yeah. But those are dumb fuck movies. Torque was another dumb fuck movie. Oh, that's terrible, though. That's yeah, really it's terrible. terrible. It's a bad movie, but um, uh, it's uh, Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift bad. You know what? You know what's a dumb fuck movie that actually is a really good movie though? What? Backdraft. Oh yeah. Who had ever heard of the fucking term backdraft until dude, that movie came out? Dude, I wanted to be. Movie. I wanted to be a motherfucking fire for a forensic fire scientist, whatever they called him. After I saw that movie. Oh, you wanted to take down Scott Glenn? Like uh, forensic friend? What is it fucking called? Like fire science. Like I wanted, I wanted to be. Fuck. I wanted to fucking. I wanted to fe- be the fucking Kurt Russell in that movie, man. Like, yeah, I loved that movie. You didn't want to be Billy Baldwin. He was getting it on with uh, with Rebecca De Mornay. Yeah, but it was fucking Kurt or Jennifer Russell. Jason Lee. Kurt one? Russell. That's Kurt yeah, Russell. Doesn't matter. Fucking Kurt Russell doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Kurt anyway. Russell always wins. He always wins. Unless you can be Robert De Niro, be Robert De Niro. Because well, you can get away the, with murder. What's the line in that? Um, oh, fuck, fuck, I the gasoline that. line or something. There's a great line in that with that De Niro has. I have that. We should watch. We should watch that. It's right up there with uh, "I gave you a chance and you blew it." (laughs) So, (laughs) so anyway, um, dumb fuck movie meant to make the people in it sound like they know what they're talking about, but they're actors saying dumb fuck lines. Yeah, and that irritates me because what that usually does make me hate every one of these motherfuckers in this movie, and I did. Instantly, I disliked everyone yeah, in this movie. Me too, and I wanted them all to die by shark, with the exception of a little girl, a little Mailing or whatever. Yeah, I was kind of fine with her. Dying. I, I kind of dug her. I did want that one fat kid to die though, with his fucking oh, popsicle. Yeah. That oh, kid yeah. was he annoying. Did, he, he deserved to die. That would have been a gusher. Oh yeah, it would have been like one of those gusher candy mm-hmm. thing. Oh, that kid would have exploded. That oh yeah, fat kid. I mean, I the first time they spared someone, I was like, boo. Yes, you were. You were boo. I was a like gladiator, thumbs down yeah. in the theater. You, you hated that. Yeah. Um, there needed to be many, many, many more people in that research station die because the way I look at it was that Rain Wilson's kind of the devil because he's the money man. He's coming in. He's he's wanting to research stuff. Then he wants you to go after that shark. And you follow his orders. You are complicit, sir. You should die. And, of course, Ruby Rose is the most worthless person in every movie she's in. Yes. And I dislike her. You know, the best movie that she's in is John Wick Part 2, and it's because she's deaf and mute. <laughs> oh. Yep. I might like that. Yeah. She signs. You don't have to listen to her. She actually doesn't have to act that much. 
Does she have a stupid haircut? She always has a stupid haircut. She does have a stupid haircut, Ugh. and she's definitely like so super tough. Of course, but does she wear does she wear sleeves? <coughs> but because she never wears but, sleeves. Yeah, but Keanu Reeves fucks her up pretty good. Oh, that's good. Yeah. How does she uh, do her one liners with? Fucking signs, yeah, with fucking signs, yeah. and they did. Have uh, you seen we're the gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, no, they I have good, they have good subtitles. Know, they kind of, they kind of go to that um, Tony Scott school Ooh. where they have like the really cool stylistic subtitles. Yeah, okay, um, I, I need to, I know, I need to watch they're good. those. They're good. Um, that's right up my alley. I, mean, I should be watching those. And, you should and, be. And any time that Keanu Reeves can be a fucking badass, they're I'm straight, kind of they're straight up revenge B, B movies, but to, like super stylistic. And uh, awesome. I can I mean, dig it. They're awesome. Now, notice what just happened here. We just spent like three <laughs> minutes talking about a different movie. <laughs> that's what happens when you just watch something as forgettable as what we just watched. Uh, it's not totally forgettable, but it's bad. What it's what moments stuck out for you that that you think are worth talking about in the Meg? Well, how disappointed I was that there was an entire <laughs> fucking beach of Asian people. Yeah. And... It's the white people who are like shark, which is funny just because it's like, let's not forget that this is also going to be sold in America. Right. Yeah, it's kind of funny. It's like the rich. Oh, and her husband, her old ass husband had that fucking banana hammock thing on. Oh, yeah. Did you notice that? Yeah. That was disgusting. In so, IMAX, banana hammocks are fucking huge. So, so <laughs> yes. So, so basically, this thing takes place off the coast of China. It is a like two hundred miles. It is off. an American Chinese co production. So it's got super fucking mega star Li Bingbing something whatever her name is. She, um, I guess, is a huge star in China. She was in the Transformers: Revenge of the Fallen or whatever, the, whatever those Age of Extinction or whatever that had the Chinese money too. That had the crossover because those movies are huge in China. Of course um, they are. So it's one of those movies where, all right, we got to put a couple really famous Chinese people in this and a Chinese setting, but a primarily English-speaking cast to sell it to both continents. Yeah, they also have, uh, should I say it? I'm going to say this, and then we can cut it out if we don't like it. <laughs> um, Hollywood, if you're going to say, I'm going to uh, make a movie with China, and we have to bring in Chinese actors. Okay, great. Please, please, please ask. Just a simple question. How's their English? Yeah. Because when, when they... Because it's... Okay. Li Bingbing Li, was Li, terrible. She was a good actress until she had to speak any sentence that was longer than like... Yeah. 10 syllables she she and still, it just it was very stilted because it's could, not her she could language. she could emote a little bit though. she could emote she can absolutely emote she was she was fine generally the guy who played her dad though was bad well he was just playing stuffy asian dad but he was bad at that <laughs> well I, I just call that stilted because the the writers were like this is how but I, but I was are. really thankful for the scenes that they delivered in chinese yeah, because it's can like actually get something. They out. seem like they're perfectly fine. Yeah, they seem and like they're comfortable and normal. Yeah, um, that happens a lot with international movies. Now, I, another thing I had mentioned was that normally, when I see this many Asians congregating in a monster movie, they all die. Right, none of them died in this, and yeah. I was really disappointed because I've seen a lot of I've seen a lot of monster movies. Yep, and. Even if you don't necessarily see the city full of Asians die, mm -hmm. it's heavily implied. Except for the newest Godzilla, you watch him take out fucking tens of millions of people in Tokyo when he lands there and he like decides to go fucking nuclear. That was awesome because you actually see people fucking bite it hard. But that's beside the point. See, look, we're talking about other movies. We're Seriously, talking about other monsters. So, so, but he, I think you've hit on a really good point because um, the Meg is PG thirteen. It has very little actual blood in this movie, except there's, for the chum. There's not much in the way of like uh, limbs. There's one arm, I think, that they showed disembodied. Uh, yeah, and then um, Rain Wilson's hand. And yeah, but there's not a lot of gore. No. And that's kind of a problem for me in a killer shark movie. Yeah. It's a big problem. Right. Um, I, I want to see the shark like just 
teeth and chin and nose and everything just bloody as fuck. Yeah. And like because it's kind of what you're rooting for in a shark movie. It's a shark to chomp. Yeah. And when Do you its don't thing. really get to see much chomp, it's disappointing. Yes. I will say though, there are some decent action scenes. Yeah. Uh, there are some good underwater action scenes with the little boats, which I'm sure all that's fucking CG. It doesn't matter. But those CG director guys really put together a pretty good scene. Yeah, you know the stuff with the the um, under the submersibles yeah. with Lee Bing Bing and Jason Statham at the bottom. Yeah, and they're like and they're like dodging the fucking Meg yeah. and trying to shoot missiles at it. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. There's a few fake outs that are pretty good. And there was one jump scare that I thought was done well. Uh, right, uh, right at the first time you saw the, the yeah. shark when yeah. the when the first crew yep. goes down. Um, this movie is, I mean. Jason Statham is an action man who does action man things. Fucks up, doesn't fuck up, but everybody thinks he fucks up. Right. And people die at the beginning. Uh, see, all right. Oh, and that fucking doctor that, guy. This, that, this is what I don't like about a dumb fuck movie. Is when it's when it's this cookie cutter um, guy was, is, was irresponsible, but really he... He believed what he saw, but nobody believes him, and then he's proved right, and everybody's like, you're a hero, and he's got to still figure out redemption in the end. It's like, oh, my fucking Christ, this is a goddamn shark movie. Can we just leave that shit out? Yeah, why can't he just be... um, Why can't he just be Action Man? Yeah, why why can't he just be... um, 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 Why can't he just be... I don't know. uh, Be be the shark hunter guy from, uh, from First Jaws. Oh, yeah. yeah. Why can't he just yeah. be Flint? Flint. Why can't he just no. be... Th- yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Yes. Anyway. Um, Why all can't right. he just be that guy? I hate to keep going back to it. Okay. But Let's even Deep Blue Sea, it's... <laughs> all right. So let's talk about this for a second. Because okay. really what they did was they took the script of Deep Blue Sea and they dumb fucked it. Because you've got all the same characters. So they donkey punch You've got all the same characters. I mean, Thomas Shane is Jason Statham. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, the the dude who is the scaredy cat black guy in this movie is LL Cool J, but yep. LL Cool J is way better. Yeah. Um, you've got uh fucking um, uh Michael Rappaport is basically a version of of Rain Wilson, yeah. like as a character. But you've got the the corporate guy, the 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 suit, you know who Rain Wilson also is, but that's Sam Jackson. Yeah. Right. And then you've got the the really tough female scientist, you know, who is um, I forget the actress that plays her in um, Deep Blue Sea, but that's oh, that's uh, Lee uh, Bing Saffron Burroughs. Saffron Burroughs, yep. Um, and then you've got the um, sort of old, stuffier guy um, uh, who's the doctor. That's Stellan Skarsgård, uh, yeah. right? So it's Stellar the fucking skateboard. it's the goddamn same fucking cast, yeah. Right, but everybody is consistent. Yes. And Deep Blue Sea. Everybody has kind of a role to play, and it's cookie cutter, but they play it with uh, less... I, I think they're, they're less um, melodramatic. Yeah. If, if that's... Well, I don't think... I think in the 90s, it was kind of uncool to be melodramatic. You know... It still is. Well, it is, but I mean... but but. <laughs> But but people, you got to sell them tickets. You got to sell them tickets. People yeah. like Schmaltz. Yeah, you know, it's like they got to sell them tickets. Got to sell them tickets. But a great example of why why the Meg starts to dumb fuck is well, what 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 got me into this in the first place when we were talking about um, yeah the the whole Jason uh, Statham's arc man, right yeah, right right the only thing that the only thing that mattered about Thomas Jane was that he. He, this is basically the only job he could get, right? He fucked up on a job before. He's kind of unhirable. He might actually be a, a felon, right? And it's the only, it's the last job he can get. So he's kind of like a, a castaway, right? right? Perfect. Boom. All I need. Yep. Right. That's all you need. Um, but no, we've got to have this weird goddamn fucking wavelength arc where he, it's like he's got to earn the trust back yeah. of the doctor. Oh, I hate God. that. I hate Fuck. that. It's just it's just it's itchy because I, I, I know exactly how this is going to pan out. Right. Yeah. Right? And it's like, oh, yeah, it's like. Uh, so so all of those interactions that yeah, those, they have, all, all of that conflict worthless. is worthless and it feels just like filler. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, well, we got to get this to fucking hour and 50 minutes. Why does every movie run too long now? 
every fucking movie runs to. Yeah, I'm surprised this, there isn't a make part this, one. This, make part this two. movie, this I know, this movie should have been 85 minutes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Jaws four was 87 minutes. Yep, yep. That's all <laughs> yep. it needed to be. Yeah. So okay, so let's uh, let, let me let, let's. I'm going to expand on what your rant was. There. Okay. Because okay, so movie begins. Uh, Jason Statham and two other guys are going to go down and save these people in a, in a submarine that's crashed. And it's like real deep down, I guess. But that leads to another question that I have. <laughs> While they're inside there, um, something on the outside starts banging into it and then starts to crush a, a nuclear submarine. Mm-hmm. Yep. It's going to crush it. And uh, Jason Statham hears that his buddies are as they say, trapped with other people who are trapped. And yeah, his buddies turn yellow all of a sudden. It's like, don't leave us, blah, 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 yeah, blah yeah. whatever. Yeah. And he's like, he's, he's assessing the situation. He understands that shit's about to go down. He closes up. He's going to take the 11 people that he was, that was already back on their little ship and get away. Yeah. Uh, as soon as they fucking pull away, yeah, and the, think, the nuclear submarine explodes. Well, I think the point was that... Um, when he when he um, closed off the the valve and separated, it decompressed the ship. So essentially, he by by making that act, he killed them. But he had to do that in order to to escape. That was the point that the doctor was making. But that's not what was happening. No, no. But that is what happened. Like the, that's the reason that whole thing imploded was because it was depressurized. Uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, I thought that the shark was about jump, jump, no, jump. no, no, no. The shark was doing that. The shark okay. was there, and he realized that the shark he can't go. He can't go back in there because the shark is going to fuck that thing. Well, up. because they also said there's a breach or whatever. Right, but yeah, that's yeah. what happened. Like it, it, he just basically um, accelerated their deaths. Okay. Yeah, and, and and all right. Well, fair enough. But still, the point and, is, and the is guy, that, the doctor, didn't believe him that there was this giant fucking creature down there, which. All right, you yeah, know, fair enough. And but, yeah, but it's it's one of those things where it's like the doctor can hear the things that Jason Statham can hear. Yeah, because he he can hear that there's a breach. He can hear that um, that that they can't get out. You want to know it's, how you fix this? You want to know how you fix the whole fucking don't have thing? The fucking scene? Well, no, you can have it. I actually think it's a good scene to keep. Just don't put the fucking doctor. In both places, ah, no, fair enough. he's not associated with anyone, but it's but it's something that he carries with him, right? It's a choice he had to make that that he carries with him that gives him gravity, and okay. maybe his buddy, who gets him to come back, knows about it. Okay, fair enough. But you just you're a better writer. <sighs> I didn't take fucking much. <laughs> well, um, <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, I just farted out a better <laughs> shark but, but, script. But but uh, what ends up happening is you lose twenty minutes. You lose twenty minutes if you do that. Well, you can't do that, right? Because all movies have to be but it, pushing but two you hours. Can easily lose twenty minutes. Oh movie. fuck yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. Um, so okay, so anyway, okay, fine. But then you got like, of course, you have that scene where the guy's like, "You're a fucking asshole." Blah, 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 you fucking piece of shit. Man- manufactured blah. conflict is what I call it. It's so fucking That's exactly ridiculous. what I called it when yeah. I had my head in my hands. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then when I scowled at you. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You were giving me like the angry video games uh, frowns yeah. throughout the whole right. movie. <laughs> and my eye would like, James one Ralph, eye would get, James get, Ralph frowns. Get, get a little bit squintier. <laughs> um, anyway, um, so then, of course, later, that doctor doesn't, you know, fuck, fuck anybody who needs saving. We can't have that dude do it. Right. It's like we've got Asian lady here right. who's more than willing to go risk her fucking life. Yeah. Great. Whatever. 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 Fine. Hey, doctor man who runs this whole place, I'm going to send your daughter because fuck that other asshole. Yeah. Fucking oh, stupid. oh, but then. And then instantly he re-earns the trust. Like instantly. Like, ugh, fuck this. And then, and then, and then, all right, all right. So if you want to get real dumb fuck, you can start talking about the fact that they don't treat, um, uh, like pressure when you go down very, very well. Like there's a whole scene yeah. where he is, he's accelerating his descent. And by the way, it's like three miles or something ridiculous yeah, to get it, down well, there. Because it's, it's not just the Mariana's trench or right. whatever. It's 
beneath right. this cloudy, it's, murky It's business. like one of the deepest places on Earth, right? So right. I don't know a whole hell of a lot about physics well, and we shit. Know, we know shit now but, because we saw this dumb fucking Well, movie. here's the thing. like he, he descends really quickly, and they try to make a, a, a scene out about him, like his nose bleeding and the doctor saying that his – his, the gas in his blood is is, is is too high and some shit, which which is, I guess, sort of kind of like not He's, good. Uh, whatever. Whatever but, it was. He was either honest, losing it or he was gaining it. At the rate he was diving, he should, he should be, be dead. dead. And yeah, at the because, rate that they fucking got back up to the surface, they should have the bends like a motherfucker. Like <laughs> all of their all of their blood vessels should be exploded. <laughs> yeah. Like it, none of it made any sense. No, but it's it's cool. And but it's, it's dumb fuck. Yeah, it's yeah. Dumb fuck. I mean, it's bad enough to be rocketed into space with all the G's that you pull on that, which is like I think what is it? Um, I can't remember how many G's. It's like five G's or something. You're out. You're passed out. You cannot take it. Yeah. The same thing would be descending into water. It doesn't. It doesn't even have to be well. That water. Deep. Water is water is a hell of a lot thicker like than they, our atmosphere. They do not. De- <laughs> they do not depressurize in this movie at all. Oh no! It's like instantly. It's like it's like if you yeah. took the bizarro version of James Cameron and had him write this movie, right? Like I like deep sea stuff, but I don't <laughs> understand science. <laughs> Me right movie. Me right movie. Me. Sharks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And that's kind of the, the catch twenty two, right? Of a of a big, dumb, stupid movie. You want it to be big, dumb, and stupid, but you also want it to at least be grounded in some sense of reality. Fuck that. If you're gonna be big and dumb, just do Sharknado. Right. Just yeah. do Sharknado. Just just dumb fuck it all to shit. Yeah. I mean, or or, why or, or or why? Here's the other thing. Why do people insist on writing themselves into these corners? Yeah. Because it, you don't have to do all of this convoluted bullshit to put a megalodon in your movie. No. <laughs> you know, you know who else doesn't do any convoluted bullshit? The people who make uh, Fast and Furious. It's like whatever it takes to get these fucking superhumans right. into these goddamn cars. Oh, and make sure the Rock steers a fucking missile with his bare <laughs> yes. hands. Yes. Just, just make it happen. Make right. it. Ha- it does not matter because we've seen them for fucking eight movies now. Do crazy shit. Yeah. Just make sure that it happens. <laughs> Get a car, any car. We'll paint it silver. It'll look fucking badass. And that's any the, car. And that's the ridiculous part about put ludicrous in there it behind tries a, to a be, It tries to hit you with some sense of science. Like these are all smart people. And they want to make you believe that, but yet they do dumb but fuck shit. Every fucking person does something stupid. They all do dumb fuck shit. Why yeah. did everybody have to be on that one fucking boat to rescue somebody? Right. Yeah. You oh. don't need you don't need the computer people on the fucking boat. You need them in the fucking control room. And fucking Lee Bing Bing, I swear to God, if Jason stayed them, the minute he leaves her live, she's gonna do something and get herself killed. Because at least twice in this movie she insists on doing something idiotic and he rescues her. And saves her little her little girl from being without a mom. Like poor little girl. Like seriously, it's just a matter of time. Your yeah. mom, your mom's gonna do something fucking stupid your and get herself dead. kid killed. Yeah. yeah, it's like I hope you already have paid the funeral home because it's <sighs> it's it's a foregone conclusion. She's got a death wish. <laughs> She's yeah. got a death wish, and it's not a Charles Bronson death wish. <laughs> awesomeness. It's not fucking bazooka. By the way, fuck your little fucking. Machine guns against the megalodon. Get the fucking bazookas out. Yes, I want to see if shark get bazookaed. Have you have you ever seen a shark get bazookaed? No, I haven't either. You know what? There just aren't enough fucking bazookas in movies anymore. No, like, ever since the, Charles Bronson died, he got like buried with all the bazookas. The bazooka was the was oh the God. king in the eighties. What happened to the bazooka? I don't know. I I bet you. I bet you right now, if it's not in Charles Bronson's tomb. <laughs> the last bazooka the, all the bazookas all the movie bazookas <laughs> it's either that or it's in it's like a uh, Geraldo Rivera special it might, well it, it might be unearth in, Charles Bronson's tomb in search of the last bazooka yeah. <laughs> or they're all down in like fucking Chuck Norris's basement oh, or something yeah, oh yeah <laughs> it's yeah. like I don't I no 
I yeah, I I defeated each one of these bazookas <laughs> with my bare fucking fist <laughs> and my now. beard. They're mine now. They're mine now. <laughs> that's Chuck. That's Chuck Norris rules. Um, so <laughs> well, it's it's either Charles Bronson dying Keeps or these. or the Cannon guys dying, and no more bazookas. No more bazookas. Yeah, everybody, it's ruined for everybody. Yeah. Um, you still get the odd Uzi, which is nice. Yeah, every but now the and then you'll see a movie that's got a Luger in it. Yeah, you yeah. know, because mm-hmm. um, bad guys for some reason carry a shitty gun. Um, I saw something just recently with a with a Luger in it. I was like, ah, fucking Luger. Yeah, one of the Ilsa Il- movies I watched. Uh, well, of yeah, course. of course, yeah. yeah. No, this was like a recent movie. No, nah. yeah, yeah. Those guns weren't good, if I remember correctly. I think they, I think they jammed, jammed a lot, right? Yeah. 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 Look anyway. at us talking about our fucking guns and shit. Like, we, we know shit. what we're talking we about. Know. We know shit. We, <laughs> we, let's write a movie. My, and don't my, fuck my it up. My armory down yeah. in my basement. You yeah. got all the bazookas. I got them all. Oh, my gosh. Oh, let's shit. Make no, a bazooka no, people movie. know where the bazookas, bazookas are. Versus bazookas. We should just make a movie called Bazooka. <laughs> <laughs> I bet. I bet that could work. Let's that, Indiegogo, right? I, that now. might make money. Yeah. That might make money. I mean, everybody, every, every boy our age. Fucking, fucking loves bazookas. bazookas. We oh all want God. a bazookas. Even so much so as to make sure that we got Nerf bazookas. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fuck yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, okay, so let's talk about... Uh, fuck. I hated everybody in this movie. Yeah. I really did. So what's the body count in this movie? Where, 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 five? Yeah, it's. It, I mean, it's, five people, I think. Not enough people died. Rain Wilson. A couple of people um, in Ruby that Rose. beach. No, she survived, no, didn't she? Ruby Rose. The doctor. Of course she survived, because you're not going to kill off right. fucking tattoo lady. Did she survive? Yes. She yeah. was at the end. By the way, the hair product budget on her character alone is through the roof. All right. That was, another, that was a moment I gave you a frown, was we had just had a scene where, um, I wish I knew the actor's name, but the, the, the kind of tubby black dude. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah I've, it seems like I've seen him in stuff. Uh, like, I feel like he's been in a Cedric the Entertainer is movie. Is that Cliff Curtis? No, Cliff Curtis. No. Cliff no. Curtis is the guy from uh, Fear the Walking Dead. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Sorry. guy who plays a, a terrorist in that yeah, movie. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which he's kind of just phoning it in here. Um, yeah, he's like, I'm just going to make sure. Paige that- Kennedy is who, ah, is yeah, who yeah, he yeah. is. See what he's been in. I, I've seen him in. Um, he's been in lots of stuff. He was in SWAT, um, Leprechaun, Back to the Hood. Oh, nice. He's in a lot of television, Six Feet Under, NYPD Blue, yeah. yep, um, yep. Boston Legal, CSI Miami, Weeds, ton of shit. Um, my name's Earl. He's all over the place. Yeah. Robot Chicken. Um, Sweet. He was in the new Rush Hour, that TV show. You know why? Why? Because that initial, uh, that uh, pilot was directed by... Uh, John um, Turtle Tom. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna get to him. Yeah, let's get. No, let's, no. We'll get to I want to finish. I we'll get finish. to the. Let's talk about this one little problem I had. Yeah, with the, the, this characters. is a problem I have with the characters in in the the script. Is he had just gotten done? Um, Paige Kennedy, DJ, I just gotten done with this this really like kind of I guess emotional, me- really melodramatic. Like, oh, my friends are dead. The sharks are gonna fucking kill us. Ah, like freak out scene, right? Where Jason Statham just kind of scowled at him. Yeah. In, in the cutaways, but um, but then literally the next fucking scene where they get on the speedboat, he cracks a joke about Ruby Rose's hair. That, it's, like, that, that it's, like, what, it's like, what happened to your hair? And then she's like, what happened to yours? Because he's bald. Ha ha, get it? And it's like, what the, f- where the fuck did that joke come from? Yeah, there, there's, there has to be something cut out. You know, and I feel like I feel like that's what it's makes like, this it would have been one thing if she was so, so scared that that little white strand of hair came came along or something. He'd be like, "Oh, what happened there?" That would make sense. Yeah, but it, I was looking and I was like, oh, "This doesn't make." This any is fucking actually sense. a good segue because the, it is a poor script, but a poor script can be saved by a director who understands the right tone to, to direct his actors in. And and what this movie does is it builds. It has these really kind of tense scenes and these tense. Um, um, character scenes, which are just like we talked about, dumb fuck filler, and then it's like, okay, we need a joke, we need a couple jokes because well, that, because just, that, because we got to make sure we're not taking ourselves too seriously. Like they well, go, it's, they, it's they, they they take themselves serious movie. to the point where they take themselves serious enough to know that they've got to interject a joke so you know, that you don't think that you're taking it that we're taking it too seriously. You know but you know what I that's the fucking problem because it none of it feels effortless. Well, here's the thing. 
I feel as though this is the reason why I don't like the Expendables movies. Because it's 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 a bunch of inside mm-hmm. joke cracky bullshit. Yeah. Um and, and Fast and Furious movies do this too, but they actually also know how to keep going with tension. Yeah. Like the fucking badass car race in the middle of the movie is not gonna compare to the one at the end. Right, of the you're movie. right. Every, right. everything it, knows it, how to, to, to escalate properly. escalate. Right. Yeah. But okay, so in these types of movies where you have action star who you know is going to win at the end, it doesn't matter if it's Sylvester Stallone and Dolph Lundgren and Jason Statham in the Expendable movies, or if it's Jason Statham versus a giant shark in the Meg, or if it's Vin Diesel versus, I don't know, fucking everything in the Triple X movies. Triple X. That was another one of those Ruby Rose movies, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. She Fuck was, that she was in the, the last one, I yeah, think. That yeah. was the worst movie I saw last year. It was bad. This movie is better. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, anyway, but no, it's, it's you know, the, the, the guy who's the hero always has to kind of like wink to the camera. And, you know, and it's like he's one of the guys. It's all smirky. It's all smirky. And somebody cracks a joke and he's like, <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, and it always has to cut back to them. And it's like that sort of shit kills any scene right. that it happens in. When you have to have the cutback for the reaction of the main star acknowledging somebody right. else's joke. Right. I fucking hate yep. that shit because it feels like it is. It's f- I'm not part of that crew. No matter how much you try to build me up to be a part of that crew with your dumb fuck science and your dumb fuck movie and your dumb fuck <laughs> fucking <laughs> fuck. doesn't matter. I'm not part of that crew. And now I don't want to joke around. I want to be away from fucking shark thing. Yeah. I'm with Paige Kennedy. Let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, there's no reason why he or or Ruby Rose are on that fucking rescue mission. They should be in the fucking control room. Well, yeah, Ruby, doing Ruby Rose shit. is like a computer shit. Yeah, both computer shit people. And why are they even there? She's always computer shit person. Okay, yeah, I mean, is she? Is this what she was in Triple X, wasn't she? Maybe. She was definitely not that in John Wick. Well, um, whatever. She it doesn't matter. She wasn't, is she one of the Fast and Furiouses, too? Not yet, but I'm sure she will be. Oh, she's on her way if she's not. Oh, surely. Because I am I positively guarantee you that Vin Diesel thinks she wants to fuck him. And I guarantee, goddamn to you, she does not. <laughs> She was well. She hasn't been in that many movies, actually. She was. In, uh, I've not seen a good one with her. She was in a Resident Evil. Every, every everyone, of course. of course. And yeah, Return of Xander Cage, John Wick Two, Pitch Perfect Three. Wow. What? Yeah. Wow. And she's gonna. Wow. She's gonna be in John Wick Three, which that's fine. She's still deaf and mute. It's not like she's gonna be able to talk in that. Yeah. <laughs> She's done a lot of TV. She was on that Orange is the New Black show. Of course she is. Cause yeah. She, yeah. Yeah. Hey, it's a prison show. She, Get all the tattoos. She's wow. She's oh, because she's fucking Batwoman. Yeah, she's showing up on all of them. Supergirl, yep. Arrow, The Flash. Because there's a crossover. Yeah. <laughs> yep. yep. Um, um, cool. So anyway, um, cool man. Cool man. That's a fucking cool story, bro. <laughs> Real quick on the on the international cast here. What did you call it? The the, because all right. So let's just break it down here. You've got uh, Li Bingbing, who is Chinese. Oh, the this the uh, yeah the <laughs> the uh, yeah. yeah. You right. got Winston uh, Chow, who I believe is uh, Thai by way of China or, or Chinese by way of Thai, something like that. You've got Jason Statham from England, obviously. Uh, Rain Wilson, American. Ruby Rose, American. Um, Cliff Curtis is New Zealand. I believe so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Paige Kennedy, I, I assume, is American. Um, you've Olafur Dottery Olafsson as the Wall. He's a he's a, a one of the divers. He's a, he's a big, huge dude. He's from Iceland. Uh, you have Jessica McNamee, who um, it's Australian. Australian. Yeah, that's I, the one you want to know. I want to know more about her. Yeah. She was she played uh, Margaret Court in um, Battle of Sexes. Um, and yeah. then you have Mas- Masi Oka, uh, who's Toshi in this. Uh, he was. He was hero and heroes. heroes. Yeah. And he's Japanese, so it really interesting. It's the United International cast, Benetton. yes, yeah, it's interesting um, cast. Uh, but it's it, it's it, it is entirely 
was put together to make money everywhere. Everywhere, yeah. Um, and, and the it, thing is, is that it will make money. It is going to make a. Bu- it's going. They're going to be sequels. Yeah. Now, whether or not they're going to be in movie theaters, I don't know. But there will oh, absolutely yeah. be. Oh sequels. fuck yeah, there will be. And, and if not, there might be an Italian ripoff sequel. I can. They still do that, right? Probably. Yeah. Probably. Or an, a, a Chinese sequel. One hundred percent guaranteed. Yeah, it's guaranteed. All right. So, is it time to talk about our director? Um. Well, I'm, uh, we're going to save that. He just had his birthday. Yeah, happy he shares birthday. A birthday with Susan, August eighth. Hey, happy birthday, John years old, Turtle. John Turtle Top. Turtle Top. Um, uh, hang on a second. Uh, real quick, I mentioned Jaws four, Jaws three. Um, I just want to point out these things. Uh, first of all, underwater thing, Jaws three. Yeah. Period. Sure. Um, yeah. Um, but uh, Jaws four, several things. This movie is uh, hints at the idea that the shark is mad at them yeah and coming after them specifically oh most definitely um i don't know about that and but but yeah. i i immediately my jaws 4 radar went sure. off yeah um the other thing um using a flying machine to distract a, a shark in the water mm-hmm. that's a jaws 4 thing uh there was uh when it comes to the beach that is 100% ripped off from jaws the revenge uh, because there's a whole scene where uh, Brody's wife, because they couldn't get anybody else in this fucking dumb fuck movie, <laughs> yeah. Brody's wife is uh, is watching over his or her granddaughter. Her granddaughter goes out on a banana boat, yeah. which is legitimately focused on in the beach scene with all of these. I I don't know where they were. Malaysia, it was, uh, it was, yeah, it was someplace. I don't think it was off the coast of China somewhere. Probably it was someplace, but anyway, it was a China beach. Same shot of the banana boat coming by with a bunch of people on it, mm-hmm. a bunch of kids having fun. It's like, ooh, eat the fucking banana boat. You did it in Jaws four. Do it, and 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 it was too. It was. I mean, Jaws one. I mean, just that that general like in wow. the, in the surf beach panic. Well, but but Jaws four elevated it by having all the people in the in the water well that like, was the problem like this it's just it's this didn't take that to its natural place which is eating all those like people. like think <laughs> about think about piranha 3d at the water park yeah holy fucking shit it's like the best thing ever it gave you everything you wanted you're like it it, it sold you on this amazing idea of oh there's gonna be it's gonna be mayhem yeah. and it delivered yeah right this movie is like oh my god that's a lot of fucking people this is going to be great. It's like swimming underneath them. It's setting this whole thing up with a lot of tension. And yeah, it does attack, but it's short lived. Yeah, it only eats like three people. And again, no blood. And there's no like gore. four million people at this fucking This, this beach. shark, all it does is swallow people whole, basically. It's, yeah, it's kind yeah. of dumb. Yeah, that's the problem with the big shark movie. Because you said, you had sent me an article that Jason Statham said yeah. that he did, that this movie is not the blood fest that he signed up for. And I'm like, Dude, the shark's like 40 million feet long, and <laughs> yeah. people are teeny tiny. People are teeny tiny. Yeah, it's like just like, sucking them up like meow, fucking meow, nerds. Meow, meow. Yep. Or like fucking Pac-Man going, mm-hmm. <laughs> walk, I walk, I walk. And just blah, 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 blah. And that's it. I yeah. mean, swallow whole. Probably, you could probably survive. You probably just get <laughs> shot right out and just well, go back to swimming. Well, that's what I said. They should do the sequel of, of an entire sequel inside the shark. Yeah. Of all the people who were swallowed whole by the shark and their their journey out of the yeah, shark, yeah, exactly. <laughs> like the a, fact that could like be movie Jonah yeah. and the whale, <laughs> right? The fact that anything gets crunched, crushed, torn up by this shark, other than that whale, that whale, okay, sure, whatever. Yeah. Actually, that was a pretty gruesome scene where it, it killed the baby whale. Killed the baby yeah, whale. Yeah, yeah, that was sad. But whatever. Anyway, it should just go. And just suck it up, and just keep going, chomp, 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 chomp. Yeah, like pack. But yeah. yeah, pack shark. Anyway, let's let's. Uh, I will bring up a couple of things here. Uh, this leads into the John Turtle Tob. Uh, this is directed by Lorenzo Di Bonaventure, who uh, is connected with all the Hasbro uh, movies, uh, the GI Joe, the Transformers. He would have been. Wait, what's directed? Lorenzo. Uh, no, produced by Lorenzo produced by. de Bonaventure. Okay. So he produced uh, the GI Joe movies. He produced um, the um, Transformers movies. He is basically was tapped by Hasbro to bring their properties to life. He has done not a great job of it. <laughs> um, he also uh, produced Constantine. 
speaking of Keanu Reeves. Oh, okay. The shitty Constantine. Um, Doom. Okay. It was a video game movie. That was with The Rock. I believe so. Yeah. And he also did Red 1 and 2. Now, what's interesting is, is that he actually recently has had quite a few well-liked movies on the turn, uh, tomato meter, on Rotten Tomatoes. Um, it was, uh, this movie is based on a series of books. The first one was Meg, a novel of terror <laughs> by Steve Alton. Uh, 90s, uh, a whole series of these books, uh, like seven of them or something. Um, real quick, we talked about how uh, we expect Jason Statham to be like well above his academia level. Right. And he was actually dialed back. His yeah. character in the books are like are like what you would expect Jason Statham to be plus a marine biologist. <laughs> right, yeah. So in the books, in the books he is a, a an ex navy um submersible driver, right? Yeah. A uh, diver, right? And and then he is also on top of that a uh, marine paleontologist. But in this, they really drop almost all of that. Yeah, he's just he's a, re- a rescue he's a, diver. He's a rescue diver. Yeah. That's disappointing. Kinda. It's like I mean you may okay, Hollywood. You made Denise Richards a nuclear scientist <laughs> in a James Bond movie. A James Bond movie I defend vehemently. But you couldn't make Jason Statham a scientist? All I needed was one scene of him in a lab coat and goggles. <laughs> and it would have been the best scene of the movie because I would have laughed so hard I would have shat myself. But I didn't. Because um, you didn't give that to Lorenzo me. Lorenzo de Bonaventure has worked with some interesting directors. Um, he's wor- He worked with John Singleton on Four Brothers. Yep. He worked with uh, Mikhail Hofstrom on Derailed and 1408. Yeah, see, that, 1408, I think, was his first fresh uh, movie, I think. Um, Shooter, Antoine Fuqua. Yep. Uh, a lot of uh, a lot of Mark Wahlberg movies, actually. Um, I, don't, with, I do not like He worked like with Mark Matthew Wahlberg. Vaughn. I don't either. He worked with Matthew Vaughn on Stardust, the Neil Gaiman. Oh, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. yeah. Which, yeah. which I have not seen, but I've heard is very good. And that stars Charlie Cox, or he's in it. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, interesting. He's... Uh, Kim Ji Woon, who I like a lot, uh, worked with him on The Last Stand, which is a lot better than in anyone gives it credit for. It was Arnold Schwarzenegger's kind of comeback movie, yeah, yeah, and, and really pretty good. Well, that was that. Well, that was the uh, was that kind of the um, the sort of Walking Tall like movie. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Gotcha. Yep. Yep. Exactly. Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. So, uh, directed by John Turtletop. Now, he is somewhat significant in our upbringing because he did make movies like three ninjas and cool runnings yes fair fair i like he's still as, a hack i well I, I want to talk about that here in just a second but i i kind of like while you were sleeping it's, it's just which a one fun is that? that's uh bill pullman and uh sandra bullock he's uh he's in a oh, the coma uh, yeah and she poses as his, his as fiance gr- yeah yeah i mean that's for a rom-com <laughs> that's for a mid-90s rom-com that's fine whatever um that was probably his first really big box office hit because Three Ninjas and, and Cool Runnings, those were video store rental type movies. Um, cool Runnings did, might have been somewhat popular. I mean, eh, a little bit, but it was much more of a cult movie on VHS yeah. afterwards. Um, and he did, Dude, no, that was a hit. Really? Yep. It was $14 million budget and it made $155 million. Wow. Okay. Cool Runnings was a hit. Because I didn't see it in the theaters because, you know... That was one hundred fifty-five million dollars in nineteen ninety-three. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's a good fucking. That's a hit. Hey, also nineteen ninety-three. Look up what Demolition Man did. Just, um, just, and, just and honestly, Three Ninjas was a hit too. It made twenty-nine million on two and a half. Well, I mean, but it wasn't like a blockbuster. Right, that's not yeah. a blockbuster. Right. But uh, but while you were sleeping, made over a hundred million. While you were sleeping, um, yeah, it was yeah, it's a big hit. One hundred eighty-two million. Yeah, yeah, um, a seventeen million dollar budget. And his National Treasure movies made. Yeah, and those money. are fucking shitty movies. Those are but dumb fuck Nick, movies. But those are Nick Cage dumb fuck the, movies. They That's are, a different level of dumb fuck. No, Con, no, like Con Air or <laughs> Face Off. Those are are good Nick Cage dumb fuck movies. Well, but I mean, oh, those are. But those are one of those is a Bruckheimer movie. Dude, 
I, Turtle Top was cranking them out though. Yeah. Because all right, so check it out. He yeah, you're right, absolutely right on the hits. I mean, Cool Runnings while you're sleeping were two massive hits, and then he made Phenomenon. Yeah. Which is a fucking huge hit. Right. That was uh, that was the follow up for um, for John Travolta after uh-huh. after he kind of hit it big. Made again. 152 million dollars. Yeah. 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 Well, it was also it kind of because it, it also kind of touched upon some didn't that touch upon a little bit of a religious angle in a time where religious yeah, wasn't maybe, really that? I think a little bit. Yeah. Like because that wasn't like Michael. Where it wasn't he was like, like that was overtly. Angle. Yeah. Right. But but he was some sort of a god like graining miracle. Yeah. Sort of. Being. It started to go downhill a little bit, though. He made that instinct movie. Remember that with um, Anthony Hopkins? <laughs> that oh, was a yeah. bomb. That was a big bomb. Disney's The Kid was... Uh, that was Bruce Willis. That, that was, was a modest hit, $110 million on a That was the Bruce Willis budget. one, right? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Um, not a great movie, though. Then National Treasure, of course, was huge. Yeah. yeah. I mean, those are popcorn. So, I mean... I mean he can make popcorn movies. He, he... He... Yeah, I mean... Would you rather watch one of his movies or a Michael Bay movie? Uh, I, guess I mean, it, and not not allowing you to pick Bad Boys or The Rock. I guess or whatever. it just what? I guess it just depends on what what the movie is. Would you rather watch Cool Runnings than a Michael Bay movie? Probably. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. John Candy. Probably. Yeah, come on. But a lot of these movies, I probably wouldn't watch again. That's the problem. Like he makes these these really forgettable hits. Yeah. I mean, he's also I think he is most definitely a '90s director. Yeah. Um, he just doesn't have much of so, a. He's a kind of by the numbers director. Okay, right? fair enough. But I mean, I feel like anyone could have made those movies hits. They were they were the right script at the right time. He didn't probably add anything to it eh. that made it a hit. Well, okay, so but but that can't be the reason why you call him a, a hack. I mean, because um, that that's kind of a that's kind of a lame excuse for calling somebody a hack. Well, I, I mean, I'm gonna play a little bit of uh, of uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna milk you for answers on that comment. I don't know. I just it, he's very none of these movies are that great, really. When you think about it, I mean, none of these movies are great. I wouldn't. Hold on, I lost him. I lost the list. I mean, I what what in those movies would I really if it was on TV right now would I watch? None of them. Oh, not even, I, not even, cool not even the fucking cool runnings. I'd rather watch something else. I'm sure there's something better on than cool runnings. <laughs> None of these movies. I mean, no, no. You're, you're being artsy farts. I'm though. not. I'm yeah. just like they're fucking boring. <laughs> they're boring movies. <laughs> and there's nothing about him that elevates any of them to any degree. Fair enough. I mean, but I I do like one little note about him though. So, like a hack director, I think of him just—he's a gun for hire. He's a competent guy who can get the fucking thing done. That's a hack. I don't know. I, I think <laughs> I think when I think of hack, I think of somebody more like uh, Brett Ratner, who is I not th- exactly competent, but will just do what the producer. I wants. think Turtle Tops in the same is the same ballpark Man, as, Ra- as, as Ratner. That. I don't know about that. Not I can ma- tell you not, one not thing maybe as a person. But as a director, they're probably honestly Brett Ratner is probably a little more interesting as a director, if I'm being honest, because he made that third X Men movie. Yeah, he's made a lot of shitty movies, but I, I don't know. At least he tries to make a fucking different shitty movie. You know, fair enough. Um, I will say though, uh, he is on the the Creative Council of Represent Us, which is an, an a bipartisan group to stop corruption in, ele- in elected offices. Oh, great! So, I mean, cool. He's doing something. Like I said, I mean, I'm, it's not nothing. It's nothing against him as a person. I just don't think he makes interesting movies. Fair enough. Fair enough. I don't know if I would have gone all the way to calling him a hack. Maybe it's a little harsh. It might have been a little harsh. Maybe it's a little harsh. Because when you said that, I was like, huh? I mean, Michael I Bay. Michael, Michael Bay is a hack. Yes. And I, I guess Turtle Tob isn't. I don't know though. Even, well, but no, even Michael Bay at least has like a like a like a style. He has a style. It's a shitty but style. But here's the thing that I say. But he's got a trademark, if you will. Here's why I think I would Michael never look Bay at a movie that. and be like, "Oh, that's a Turtle Top movie." <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. God, but I can say or, that the Meg is, and nobody's talking about the new fucking John Turtle Top movie. <laughs> you know, I mean. Uh. Well, now where I would say that Michael Bay is kind of a motherfucker <laughs> is that. 
he takes things like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Transformers and say and and says well, these fucking dummies want this shit. Just, yeah. just spit. I don't care what it is. Yeah. Just spit it out there. Just fucking put the name on it. Oh, Bumblebee. I don't like fucking uh, fucking uh, Volkswagen bugs. <laughs> Fuck that shit. Get a Cam- Camaro in there. Get a bitch, make, sure, make it a bitch and Camaro. Make it a bitch and Camaro. <laughs> make sure we show fucking Megan Fox's ass. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's a douche. Yeah. He's a real fucking douche. Yeah. John Turtletop's not a douche. Although, thank you for the shots of Megan Fox's ass. <laughs> I've never gone to high school with anybody who ever looked like that. Right. Nobody ever did ever. Ever. I mean, even in, like, even in California, never. I mean, the most bullshit thing about the whole movie was not the fact that robot aliens were transforming and shit. It was that Sounds fine it was me. that Shia LaBeouf could have any chance in hell with Megan Fox. <laughs> that was the biggest fantasy element. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's only one thing he has I a guess, chance for I with guess that. If you can buy that, the rest of the fucking movie you have no problem with. Yeah, alien robots, <laughs> sold. <laughs> Um. No. Uh, no boof. This this movie is. I mean, we've spent a lot of time talking about other movies. Yeah. But right. Um. Th- this movie is. If you want to go and watch a fun shark movie in the summertime, watch Deep Blue Sea. But. <laughs> Of the current slate of movies, <laughs> you're like, oh yeah, that's that one movie about the giant shark. I, that sounds like fun. Then you'll probably have fun at it. If if you don't like dumb fuck science movies, you're probably not going to like it because this isn't a science movie and it's definitely a dumb fuck movie. And it, it also doesn't pay off. It doesn't really pay off. That's you, what bugs no, me about I mean, it. There are a fucking lab of people you could fucking slaughter. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people there who are make helicopters dumb decisions. you could chomp. Yes. There are lots of people on the beach you could chomp. I want to see that shark fucking jump up onto the beach and go and grab a couple people and go right? back. Right? I mean, come on. Go, go all out, man. The moment where we find out, I mean, of course we do, because there's a, probably another 45 minutes in the movie we've got, that there's a second um, oh, yeah. Meg is a pretty good scene how they set that up. Yeah. Because I'm like, oh, shit, that's going to be that's gonna be like the scene in Deep Blue Sea at the beginning where it gets Stellan Skarsgård, right? Right. And I was like, I'm waiting for it. And it's something different. And it's like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah. You got me. That's good. Yeah, I was like, oh, wow. There's, I mean, you know what this movie actually is? It's actually Anaconda. Yeah. Because there's two Anacondas. They got snakes out here this big. Well, that's the thing. The guy says... There's, he almost says that line. Uh, what's his face? Who, Page, DJ? Yeah, DJ. Yeah. He almost says it to yeah. the point where I wanted <laughs> to just shout out, there's sharks out here this big. <laughs> to which the people in front of us probably wouldn't have cared for. Well, just because we were fucking up their movie. Oh, they were talking too. Yeah, they were. This, this, is, this is the perfect kind of just fucking talk your yeah. shit movie. It um, really is. I was surprised how many families yeah. went there. To the IMAX to see it. Yeah. I did not want to pay sixteen fifty yeah. for this fucking movie. But I paid fifty bucks because I paid for Susan <laughs> and my friend Zach. Yeah, I paid fifty bucks yeah. to see this movie. Well, I, I bought Chris's, but he got me back with Rift Tracks tickets yeah. in a couple of weeks, so that I'm good. Uh, but you, I'm like I'm like fifty in the in the in the hole on this thing. Fifty in the tank there. Yeah, um, yeah, you. Um, but also, <laughs> it's kind of on you. Yeah, that's my You're, fault. Yeah, we we were like. All right, well, Giant Shark. I saw... We were trying to make this an event movie, or at least I was, and Susan was too. She kind of egged me on with this one because she loves shark movies. I didn't know that. Yeah, and she was pretty disappointed in the body count and the blood count. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I kind of feel like... Let's let's just watch Jaws. Let's watch Jaws talk about that. Yeah. Okay. All right, so we watched Jaws, (laughs) and um, that's a really good fucking movie, right? such a good movie. We should have brought a bigger boat. Why (sighs) didn't somebody make that joke in the fucking Meg? As much as we expected it, I guess. There's that one scene. There's that one scene at the end where Statham is like, uh, he's... um, He's got the missile on the thing that he's about oh, to yeah. hit with. And what does he say? He says, uh, open wide, you ugly son of a bitch, yeah, or something it's like, like that. It's, it's totally a, it's like it's a, a riff. Tip of the and then, of course, of course, it, it 
doesn't work. It doesn't work, and so there's another fucking 28,000 minutes in the his, movie. his plan ultimately actually was pretty good to cut it open. Yeah. It didn't kill the shark, no. though, even though he cut it from tail no. to face. No, he had to stab it three yeah, times in the eye. Let's talk about that because that's yes! what you say. So, going into the movie, my wife and I, we were like, all right, what's the over-under on Jason Statham shark punches? Because I'm like, he's going to punch a shark in this movie, right? He's going to. So I said two. He's got to. I said two, which, and I took the over. And I know that's risky. I know that's risky, but it's Jason Statham. Well, you were wanting them to speed And Jason bag Statham, I did, was, likes to punch. There were several scenes in this movie that would have been a perfect moment for him to just fucking right hook the, the shark in the nose. Like in slow mo, it fall back in the right, like, oh. right. But it, but it, but it didn't. It didn't happen. I was like, damn it! If it didn't happen, then I don't know when it's gonna happen. But I knew, I knew <laughs> that Statham's gonna be the one to take the shark down in the end. I mean, it's gotta be. So there's gonna be opportunity, and sure as fucking not, man. He, I thought for a second there he was gonna Lewis Gossett Jr. it, you know, and blow himself up, <laughs> yeah. to kill the shark. And like he got a little little yeah. Joss three there, poke yeah. poke, a little, little Joss three. But no, he does the thing with the knife, and then he's got the harpoon. Right, he's got a harpoon, and he it's just like this fucking ridiculous out of the water sequence. They both like flung out of the water, and he's in mid air, and he stabs the shark in the eye, and he gets him like three times. And I told her, I turned to Susan's like, those are punches. <laughs> I took the over and I got it. Those are three fucking shark punches. Three shark Technically punches. Technically stabs, but I'm going to take it. But you also had to fucking punch a little bit with the stab. It was a, it was a, a, man, stabby, stabby it was a manual Stabby kill. stab punch. Yes. Stabby stab punch. Stabby stab punch. Um, <laughs> 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 I would not count those as punches. Yeah, but they're not really punches. I wanted a punch to the fucking nose. By the way, that I was shark, really hoping for like just a right hook, right? Do in the sharks nose. have very good vision? I don't think I don't they think, do. I think they're blind, aren't they? N- no, I think no. That they, I don't, don't they use like um, se- smell and well, sonar? They, I mean, n- n- I don't think they use sonar. I don't think they really. But can the, see their eyes the way are on see. the side of their head, right? And they're big black eyes. They're yeah. beady. Yeah, like doll's eyes. Like doll's eyes. Yeah. <laughs> But, we just watched Jaws. <laughs> yes, we did. <laughs> um, but but they should only be able to see. They should not have straight vision. And that right. shark could fucking see straight ahead. Yeah, well, it's, yeah, all, it's so. all stupid. No, now um, hammerhead sharks should be able to see straight forward because their eyes are forward facing. Sure. Um, sure. By the way, just Jeff's flexing his biology degree right now. <laughs> his marine biology degree. Yeah, yeah. I have five shark of them. Expert. I have five of them, <laughs> and this is a dumb fuck movie. That's how I knew it was a dumb. <laughs> he fuck got five movie. Minor, minors and shark. <laughs> five minors and shark at Thayer University. Oh, and wasn't it interesting that the um, the Chinese father, every opportunity he had was like a moral lesson. Of course, it was like everything he said was some sort of bit of old Chinese wisdom. Yeah, it was weird. Sell them tickets in China. Oh man. Well, there were a couple of times where it's like. I believe they're just speaking in fucking fortune cookie notes. Yeah. Like, seriously. Right, yeah. I mean, it's and then like. He went out of his way to, to like, condemn um, the shark poaching. Yes. Right? Which, oh sure, which, sure, great, great message, but it was so fucking forced. It was like, oh, fucking, yeah. The more you know PSA, right in the middle of the movie. Yeah, it was uh, shark poaching. Um, you know, whatever it takes to get just the fin, or just for a just bowl, for a of, bowl soup. of soup. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah, my eyes rolled out of my head. I had to go and pick them up. <laughs> <laughs> Sticky fucking floors at the goddamn movie theater. They're still itchy. Yeah. Um, th- there was something else that he said. I was like, oh, God. I, know, I was like, oh, God, shut up. This yeah, is supposed I to be a fun movie. I looked over at you because I was scowling. Yeah. And it's like, it's supposed to be a fun movie. This is fucking stupid. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Do we have anything more to say about this? Oh my god. What? It's a megalodon. It's <laughs> He did it. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I've been practicing that all night. Uh, and all all night last night, all day today. Man. There's sometimes I just like to um to like impersonate like just one line of a movie. <laughs> um it's a megalodon. Yeah. He didn't even say the oh god part either. They cut that out. 
no, it's in two parts. It's actually it's a, oh, it's is a cut, cut up. away? Cut yeah, it it's a, it's a cut up uh, scene. Oh God! It almost at, a, at an earlier point. Yeah, and then uh, it's a megalodon. Is when he first realizes it's a fucking megalodon. It's a megalodon. He should not ever say that word. It's a He's megalodon. He never said that word before he read this script, and he probably had to ask how it was pronounced. Oh, I'm. Certain. I mean, right? I'm certain. Also, don't. But, but give... I. But I also think that Jason Statham was the only person in this movie who knew what this fucking movie was supposed well, yeah, to be. He's cashing that. He check. knew exactly what it was supposed yeah. to be, and that's why he's even before this movie even came out. Even though this movie's going to make a ton of money, he was like, "This is not the movie that I thought it was." Right. Um, he um, and yeah, Jason Statham. I want to see your version of the Meg because <laughs> I bet you I'd like it a well, fuck ton more. He was probably pitched like I think all you have to do to get Jason Statham in your movie is give him ten million dollars. No, well maybe, <laughs> but just talk about how violent it's going to be, and he's like, I'm in, I'm in, mate. Blah, blah, blah. I'm in, mate. Where yeah. I where I sign? Yeah. Um, oh, fucking punch that shark. Um, anyway, <laughs> I get to punch a shark. Yeah, sold. Fuck yeah. Um, also, don't give Jason Statham a buddy named Mac <laughs> or Mick. Actually, it's Mick. Yeah, but he says it's so. No, he, he, it, no, it's is it Mac. Mick? Is it it's Mac? actually Mac. But he His calls name him is Mac. Mick. He calls him Mick, but it also sounds like he's calling him a Meg. Right. He calls he calls him Mick, Mac, and Meg. Yeah. Several times. Yeah. Each. Um, yeah. Yeah. That accent. Um, also, come on. Also, they the really name the Meg. They really commit to calling it the Meg oh. very early. Yeah, and they never call it Megalodon ever again. No, it's or always they do the call Meg. it prehistoric shark. Sure, because they're like, oh yeah, the authority. By the way, I think if a science people yeah call up the fucking yeah the fucking government. And say, hey, we got uh, a thing here. A thing. It's- Here's what's happening. Yeah. Here's what's going down. A fucking prehistoric shark. Yeah. I think the government, even our current today government, with all the dumb fucks there now, would be like, oh, fucking giant shark. Right. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Maybe shut down some shit. Like, they might not take it seriously enough, but they would believe you. They would believe that, yes, you have seen. And by the way... Ain't nobody got a fucking phone on this place? <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> Nobody's snapping their fucking camera phones at this goddamn right. giant right? shark? Right, right. Like, uh, Here's the evidence, government man. Yeah. Boop, 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 but yeah, boop, he boop. makes the comment that they don't believe me. It's like, it's yeah, like that, a, that they beach think is it's gonna a prank be, call or some right, shit. Yeah. That beach is going to be operating. <sighs> By the way, beaches Eye don't roll. cost to go to. So the government should say, you know what? There's sharks in the area. And nobody come to this beach, but you know I don't know how, I don't know how those South Asian, South a- Southeast Asian places fucking work. I don't know. Maybe they're like I don't know. Whatever. I don't know. They're let's, still let's, they're still kind of communist, right? They could like, strafe the water with bolt machine gun bullets. Well, probably, or they could be like. We got a prop- population problem here. Oh dang! Just, just let's just cut out some of these dang, dumb fucks. Thin out the herd. Yeah, it's like it didn't really work with the baby girl thing. That I'm not even sure is a real thing. So let's just let the people at the beach die. Yeah. yeah. Just let them die. Yeah. There was like 400 million people at that fucking beach. And the shark ate three people. God damn it. I paid 17 bucks for this fucking movie. I know. It's disappointing. But I did get points to get a 75 cent large drink. So. So. I would watch this on video if you're looking for a dumb fuck movie to turn your brain off and watch Jason Statham stab slash punch a shark. I'd put it on in the background if it meant that it was on in the background while I'm like having sex or something. <laughs> you like to have sex with shark movies? <laughs> Shit, yeah. I mean, this is the type of movie that my wife and I would rent from Redbox for a dollar <laughs> when we're looking for something stupid to watch while we get drunk. There you right? go. Right. It is that kind of rental. Do not fucking spend a movie ticket price on this movie. It don't spend don't 50 do bucks on it, Definitely for sure. Definitely not. Jesus Christ. But listen to our episode. Yeah. Which you've done at this point, if you heard yeah, If you've gotten that, to so. this point, I don't know why you skipped forward. You missed my Jason Statham impersonation. I'm never going to do it again. Yeah. You probably shouldn't. No, I probably shouldn't, because then you got to go back and listen. Right, and then he might punch you. Oh, my God. 
Yeah, he's hey, at the door. <laughs> And of course, for some dumb reason, I'll be wearing like a shark costume. I feel, I feel, I feel, <laughs> that would be the best. I was just thinking that he would come up with like, he'd do the old like uh, piece of paper holding it up, right? And he'd punch you through it, you know? <laughs> huh. uh, but no, that's not changing that stays with style. He'd give you, he'd give you his like, his frowny, furrowed brow look yeah. and cheeky kind of half cocked smile and then fucking punch you right in the right. face yeah right he's not he's not vinny jones vinny no. jones is just a scary motherfucker right from the beginning yeah 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 he, those J- guys need jason to... say would would punch you with a smirk yeah well they were in uh lock stock and two smoking barrels together. i know but uh, but get back let's, get back together yeah let's get I back agree. i agree yeah. what's vinny jones doing these days i mean i feel like he's either making a movie or in jail <laughs> He's, he got he got fucking drunk at the World Cup and like I mean, murdered three people. Yeah, <laughs> I, that would be in his repertoire. Yeah, yeah, which is cool. Vinny Jones, <laughs> if that's your thing, you have our support, sir. <laughs> God, I don't want that big, coming. Big fans, door. big fans at the at the podcast, sir. Yeah. <laughs> what well, you need us to pay your legal fees? We're on it. We're on it, <laughs> sir. Good sir. Yeah, you very don't see fine, you don't see Vinny Jones very often anymore though. No, but he's kind of old too though. Yeah, um, yeah. Maybe, he maybe was the somebody older guy, maybe yeah. somebody should death wish him and just make him make a bunch of like like fi- bazookas, bazooka movies. He could bring back the bazooka. He could be Bazooka Man. Oh my God, Bazooka We've... Man. That would be a great name. That would Bazooka Man. Yeah, I mean you can That'd sell that. God I mean, damn fucking it, tickets flying. No out problem. Of no problem. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, next week, um, <laughs> let's just let's just wrap. That's up. a good full circle. I yeah, like it. Yeah. So we uh, close the loop here at the at the film loop. seizure. We're closing the loop. Uh, next week is um, hardware. Oh, that's next week. That is next week. Yeah. That's a that's a pretty this is what you one. want. This is what you get. This, this is what, what you want. want. This is what you get. Yeah. Um, that was that was all right. Um, and uh, we'll we'll be getting back to Meg. A force later in the month um so yeah next week hardware it's a weird beard movie yeah yeah it's one i like a lot we, we, have, like a good, we have a good discussion we about this good discussion i think you'll want to check it out yeah, I think and we'll, i think you're gonna want to watch this movie um we recommend wait, the meg it. no <laughs> hardware oh yeah see again we're talking about other fucking movies the meg i don't know like i said I mean, uh, if, if, a dollar if, if, rental on on red box get drunk well, with okay. your wife here's here's one here's one idea on five dick five five dick five dollar ticket tuesday at amc if you're if you got a stubs card if you want to see this even if you want to see it in imax because you see everything in imax because you're a dummy that way fine it's like seven fifty on Maybe. Tuesdays. The beers are too expensive, though. Yeah, but I mean, you sneak your own beers in. Yeah, it's August. It's a sne- if it's you're a beer listening sneak in Australia, you, it's cold. Go bring in your <laughs> if you're if you're in uh, uh, if you're in Argentina, uh, d- just sn- smuggle smuggle beers in in your coats. Yeah, um, chomp, chomp, crack that open, get drunk. Laugh at dumb fuck movie, fine, whatever. If this is really your thing and you really just like to watch Shark Movie, if you're if you're still high off of Shark Week from oh, a couple yeah, weeks ago, yeah, yeah, go see it. Sure, yeah, whatever, sure. fine. Sure, I wouldn't pay full price. Nope. Um, and I would probably honestly wait until you can just rent it on fucking Redbox or Amazon, whatever. I didn't. I'm and not then, as disappointed with this movie as I was with Rampage. Yeah, I'll give you um, that. Because this Ra- gave me exactly what I thought I would see going into it. I think it. Rampage overpromised more. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I thought the Meg was a lot closer to what I was expecting. Sure. And Rampage, I expected to be far more charming than it was. Yes. Um, this movie, I mean, I guess I was doing the right thing, rooting for human death. That's what I do most of my time <laughs> anymore. That's what I do just, in my, my real life. Yeah, that's what I do in my real life. <laughs> I just sit outside on my porch and just root for people to fall off their balconies, <laughs> climb up onto the roof for no reason, and just slip and fall off. I root for this shit. Just get eaten by a random shark in the yeah. street. Yeah, yeah. yeah. shark I mean, comes up out of the concrete and just blah, 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 yeah, out of the out of, out of the manholes or something. Yeah, yeah. Uh, chuds. If chuds. chuds can can happen, that'd be cool. I'm cool with that. Gremlins. 
Fuck yeah. yeah. I, you know what? Bring it on. I, I will serve Gremlins beer. I'll be their friends, oh, and yeah. I will help bring people to them to slaughter. I'll be their, I'll be their Phoebe Cates at the bar. <laughs> sure, I'll yeah. serve them. Fucking, yeah. yeah. Hang out with yeah, them. If there's they're a little group. rowdy, but they're not yeah, fucking they're, with me. Yeah, they're not fucking with me. They just want their beers. They want their cigarettes yeah. lit. Um, one guy is flashing. <laughs> That's cool. Whatever, man. It's cool. That's what I root for in life. <laughs> Thinning out the herd. <laughs> All right. So, so next week's hardware. Yeah, come back. Check yeah. it out. Every Wednesday, filmseizure.com. Um, <laughs> uh, there's Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, <laughs> Tumblr. It's all at, face, uh, at, at Facebook. It's, it's all, all at Facebook. Facebook. <laughs> it's, all, it's all at Film Caesar. Just go to Facebook. Just go to Facebook. Fucking might as well. Go to Facebook and start screaming at your computer screen <laughs> to take you to, to Film Caesar. <laughs> It'll do it. It'll, Trust me. It will. It you, will. Can, you might be able to ask um, Google. Okay, Google. Go to filmseizure.com. That might work. That might work. And it'll be like, cool. but then Google will misunderstand you and it's like a fucking terrible porn site or something. Oh. Yeah. There uh, probably is a the porn version of everything, right? Yeah. 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 Even the Meg eventually. Oh, there's gonna, yeah. Wood Rocket will most definitely make a, a porn version <laughs> of the Meg and it will be a shark named will Meg be, with will, big titties. Will, yeah. Will, will there be a shark suit? Is that what it'll be? What it'll be? With big titties oh my God. Out. That's, yeah. that's of course. something. They made a Pokemon. One that's <laughs> really, really weird. That's disturbing. Yeah, in a Rugrats one. Oh, that's really that's, disturbing. No, not a Smurfs one. That was actually a real one. Rugrats. Yeah, oh. it's called Tugrats. No. Oh, that's that's. I think a, that's too far. We bit. Yeah, we bit. That's just too far. Um. So anyway, we've gone off the rails again. Um. So <laughs> yeah. See you next week. See you next week. My name is Jeff Arbuckle. Hey, this is Jason Oliver, and you have been listening to Film Seizure. Happy will be you there to see.